What's up and welcome back to another video. Today I decided let's do a speed test basically on the 2022 SE 5G. As you can see there is 5G. Hope that focuses. But there's 5G right there. And also the iPad 10th generation 2023 and 5G is also on. So we're gonna do a little bit of a video on a speed test which is faster and basically that's basically the video. This video is kind of pointless, but if you're kind of interested on what kind of speed you can probably get and which is faster, the iPad or the iPhone, well, this video may help you out. Now, again, it does depend on your coverage, but this will ultimately be able to tell you, is there any difference between the two or can they both get the same speed? So we're dealing with a 2022 here and a 2023 over here. So there's a year difference between the two of them. Um, so let's go have a little look and um, do a speed test. Now to change it up a bit, I will be doing two shots, speed test shots. One of them will be with the iPad like that, and the other one will be in uh, in hor horizontal mode, okay? Um, so I just want to show you the, the two, because the bars are on the iPad, are on the top and the bottom of the iPad, if you can see here. So I'm thinking if we go this way, we may get a faster signal. But anyway, let's do a speed test and see which is quicker and hopefully we can get it a bit closer so you can see what we're doing. And um, comment right now down below, before we even hit go, who do you think is gonna win? Is the iPad gonna win or is just the SE gonna beat it so much more? So let's find out which one will actually be. And it actually looks like on the iPad we've got full bars, but on the iPhone we've got one less bar. So let's find out which is quicker. Let's hit, quick, hit go now and we're gonna do two runs. Okay, so let's have a look. And this is using the Optus network. So interestingly, the ping is so much better on the iPhone. We've only got 24 ping on the iPhone. However, on the iPad, we've got 40 ping, which is a big difference, by the way. But as you can see right here, look what the iPhone got. The iPhone got 267. However, the iPad has already got 438. So the iPad may have worse ping, but it's quicker. And even look at that, the upload smashes it. It is so much quicker. Now, of course, you would expect higher speeds on an iPad because you, if you're buying the 5G model, you want to get good speeds, not just how good the iPhone wants. You want better. So obviously, it does have better 5G um, signals in there to hope, hope to enhance it. Now, let's just change it up a bit and change the iPad. Okay, so we're going to just put it this way. instead. Now again, it has not changed any of the bars on the iPad. However, on the iPhone, we're still one less bar away. Now this may be a little harder for you guys to see what's going on, but let's hope you can see. So just to confirm, the iPhone got 267 and the iPad got 438. So the iPad is the pure winner in this case. Let's do it one more time. And let's see which one is um, gonna win. So this time the iPhone is in the lead currently and now the iPad is now ahead. So basically our results for the iPhone is 247 and the iPad got 402. Again, the ping is so much better on that iPhone. We've got 20 ping on the iPhone. However, on the iPad, we've got 41 ping, one ping extra, not doing too good. However, the speeds are exceptional. So for the upload, we're getting 10.1 megabits on the iPhone. And obviously on the iPad, we've got 29.3 megabits. The iPad is a purely the best winner in this case. So we're gonna do one last try. <laughs> and bring it a little bit closer away from, you know, technology. I don't know if my MacBook would cause any problems, but let's just pull it a little bit away. And we're going to do it from this distance here. So we've got a little bit of a less bar here, but let's just do one last speed test. And this will tell us the final winner on who wins. So we'll do one in here, again, 40 ping. Sometimes when you hold straight up, you get like a really good speed. So we're getting 412 and the uploads are nearly 40 meg per second. We may even achieve a bit higher. 
Yeah, we got 41.8. All right, guys, let's go, go on the iPhone. And if the iPhone gets a less score, the iPad purely wins this, this speed test war. So hopefully you can see that. However, always when I record on the iPhone, I'll try to show you the iPhone. It always goes blurry. Let's um, do this again and let's see what we get. Now, of course, we're going to get a lower ping. We always do. I don't know why. Now, by, just to let you guys know, none of my data plans are capped at any speed. I can get anywhere from a gigabit per second, okay? It's just clearly, there could be two cases on this, which I'm thinking could be the factor. I could be severely wrong, but I'm gonna just guess it anyway. Is, as you can see, the iPhone is always at a lower bar, okay? It's got one less bar. And the iPad now has two less bars, And but if you notice, the ping is severely different between the iPhone and the iPad. So I'm not sure, but are they connected to two separate local towers? Maybe they are. And that could be the real difference of why we're getting different speeds. Because the iPhone shouldn't make, be, they should be able to get the exact same speed. But it's it's kind of strange that the max you can really get on the iPhone at the moment is around 200 and something. However, on the iPad, you can easily get up to 400 megabits. Now I can even show you my history. If we put it back here. I actually got, when I did this late night, um, I actually got up to a nearly a thousand megabits. Let me see if I can find where that is. I think you just have to hit X. Or did they remove that feature? I know a couple of years ago you could view the history. Okay, you can. Oh, okay, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. This one here. So I did this speed test at 1 a.m. And you probably can't see that, but look at the speed that I was getting on the iPad on 5G. That's incredible. Now I'm going to just go back because I always compare both phones to make sure we are getting the best speed test because I'm very curious. So I'm curious at that time, what did the iPhone get as well? So it looks like the iPhone did get pretty good, but as again, the iPad is the pure winner. In every case, the iPad wins. We got 500 than 21 megabits. But yeah, guys, so if you really want to know that basically who the winner is, it is the iPad. So yeah, I would be very interested if the Pro, if I had the iPad Pro uh, 5G, would it be even faster than the 10th generation iPad? Because remember, this is the budget uh, iPad. This is the most budget iPad you can buy. Um, so it's quite incredible how quick it is. So sometimes when things are budget, they actually are quite good. And you can see you're not getting poor quality on the 5G. You're getting very exceptional quality with the iPad with 5G with the cellular model. Again, you're still getting great quality with the iPhone SE. It's just not as good as the iPad, but that's expected, okay? You want good quality on an iPad because if you bought a cellular iPad, is it for work or school? You don't want dropouts or slow connectivity. So that's one great thing that I just wanted to review on. The 10th generation iPad um, there. So yeah, let us know in the comments, what did you get? And if you have an iPad, it doesn't matter what country you're in, if you got 5G, 4G, I don't, does not matter. I would love to know, what can you get? What can you achieve? Let us know down below. And if you want to upload your photos and show us, make sure you go to Facebook and go to find Prestel Insider and upload your photos there. And I'll be really interested to find out how fast you can really get on the iPad. Now, if you got an, even if you've got an iPhone, I don't mind. Let us know. I'd love to know what speeds you are capable of getting. That's everything in today's video, guys. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. And if you're new to the channel, think about subscribing, liking the video. And if you want any kind of video content, this could be router, pay TV, anything at all, let us know down below. We really need to start getting those videos out there so we can get you guys watching as well. Thank you guys for watching. And we'll catch you guys in the next one.